What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics, we're going to be doing a Galaxy Note 9 versus Galaxy S8 gaming comparison. Alright, so the S8 obviously has some age on it, but we're going to be going through five different games. The first one's going to be Left to Survive, which is an awesome new zombie shooter. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and uh, you know, let's get into some of this. Alright, so this game really is incredible. Um, it's currently free for download, so if you guys want to check this out, absolutely uh, give it a download and... You know, if you're interested in getting either of these phones, I will also throw some links in the description for them on Amazon. But let's kill some zombies, shall we? Alright, we're just kind of like busting through these guys with this, uh, this shotgun. Alright, we got zombies everywhere. Gotta get that headshot. There we go. Always good to get a headshot. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we're going to bring it down here to the S8. Now, uh, like I was saying, this phone does have some age on it. Uh, so it'll be interesting just to kind of see the quality. I will say, though, that I am going to expect this phone to lag quite a bit, though. Uh, especially on some of the games we're going to be going through. There's going to be a little bit of lag, but... Get that volume turned up. Let's kill some zombies down here. Let's get into another level, but uh, you know the game obviously looks really good down here too, for sure. Awesome. All right, so that's going to be our first game. We're going to get into the uh, next one here, which is going to be Tekken. Now, Tekken is definitely like my, it's got to be probably my favorite, uh, you know, fighting game to come out this year. I was a huge fan of the old Tekken games back in the day, the art arcade style, and, uh, you know, them bringing this game over to mobile. It's just an incredible game. So we'll kick things uh, off here up on the Note 9 and make our way back down to the S8. And uh, right now it looks like... The S8's lagging quite a bit on loading this game up, but let's do this. I gotta say too, I'm really like definitely digging the uh, bigger screen up here on the Note 9. Obviously, having that bigger screen definitely makes for a better gaming experience for sure. All right, come on, biker. That's all you got. Oh, what a nice combo! Come on. All right, let's uh, get into another fight up here. We'll use Kazua. This guy's my man right here. Oof. All right, cool. We're gonna bring it back down here to the S8. All right, 
Alright, so I'm going to be using Nina down here against the Karate Master. Man, she's kicking butt right now. Alright, nice little perfect. Alright, so this game's running smooth on the S8. You know, I'm definitely seeing, uh, you know, just as smooth as the Note 9. Uh, we'll go with Kazuo again up here. Nice combo. Alright, cool. I would definitely say this game played just as good on both phones. I really didn't see any difference. Alright, Alto's Odyssey. Um, super addictive game right here. Uh, you can literally just play this whenever you've got some free time. It is a gorgeous looking game too. Um, if you've never played this one and you guys are watching this, definitely check it out because it's like one of those games you can just pick up and play whenever you got some free time and... It's a good game for killing time. It's an endless game where you're constantly just trying to get, you know, your best high score possible. And you can also unlock different characters in this. And, you know, like I said, it's just super addictive. So, kick things off here with the Note 9. We'll put a quick run in here and then we'll make it back down to the S8. Get a nice little backflip in right there, doing my thing. Got to watch out for those rocks. All right, so the game does change from night to day uh, pretty frequently. You know, there's hurricanes in this, so there's rain, um, weather changes and stuff. You got tornadoes, balloon hopping. You know, you uh, can grind on uh, these uh, rails for these balloons, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, just a slick-looking game for sure. Get a nice... Oh, shoot. All right, so we... Fell right there. Let's bring it back down to the S8. And get some game playing down here. Austin, wake up. Time to leave. We sold the house. <laughs> we have to renovate this place. All right, so this game is running pretty smooth down here, too. I'm not really seeing uh, really any kind of difference, honestly. I mean... But we do have these annoying ad pop-ups. All right, because of that, we're going to move on to the next game, which is going to be Into the Dead 2. Clearly, probably my favorite, uh, you know, first-person zombie shooter out there. I've done a ton of gameplay on this one. We'll see how this one plays. This is a very high graphic game, so we'll see if the S8 holds its own up against the uh, Note 9. Um, not really sure what to expect, so we'll see. We'll kick things off here with some of Level 2. Which is usually the level I, uh, you know, pretty much love on here. If you have not checked this one out either, great campaign. There's a survival mode to this as well. So, you know, just a very addictive game. Gotta get that ammo. Oof, that was close. Man, whenever you get those uh, really up-close kills in this game, you just get that blood splattering, you know, zombie guts. It's just, uh, it's sweet. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of this level. Obviously, this game is just ridiculous on the Note 9 for sure. Alright, we're going to pop it back down here to the Galaxy S8. We're going to check out some of the same level. 
and uh, you know just to see how it performs but I think what uh, what I've seen so far in this comparison is that the S8's definitely you know holding its own uh, for sure I, I, it just kind of seems like it definitely is All right, so loading times are clearly uh, lagging though on the S8, but even with that, not too big of a deal. All right, definitely seeing some lag on this game. Grenade. Wow, I didn't even realize I ran out of bullets. That's not good. Right, I gotta get that ammo. Shoot. Totally missed it again. All right, we've only got about 300 feet left to go, so hopefully I make it without getting killed. Cool. So, uh, you know, I was going to do a fifth game, but I think I've seen enough uh, for both phones. I do want to say that, um, you know, for the age that the S8's got on it, it's, uh, I think it performed pretty well overall. You know, uh, when we were playing Into the Dead 2 here at the end, there was obviously some lag going on that you could clearly see, but... You know, the S8 is still a great phone to this day, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're in the market for a phone and, you know, maybe you're thinking about going with the Note 9, obviously this phone is going to cost some money. Trust me, I spent a lot on it, but the S8, um, you know, for sure, it's still a great, great phone. Uh, let me know what you guys thought, though, in the comments below. Please hit that like and share button. Thanks for watching this, and we'll see you all later.